Joining me after the 15-0 home victory against uh, in the Invicta Dynamos, I've got Ryan Bainborough and uh, Nathan Pollard. Uh, Nathan, I think it's appropriate just to start the interview by by uh, recognising the achievement that the Dynamos have put in. They've got beaten heavily, but fair play to them. Seven skaters and one netminder. It's good. It was going to be tough all night long. Yeah, and, and they, they could have had a choice to not show up and give a 5-0, but they, weren't, they didn't do that. I think mean, all the guys here worked hard. They skated all game and the goalie put, put a really good effort in. I think it's tough when you come in with seven skaters but you, you all play for each other and you could see that with them they were sort of going the extra mile for each other and it, they're going to tire out there's seven of them we're rolling four lines and I, I think it's a credit to them for just going till the end and I think sort of at the end we backed out and it, we, you could see how tired they were and it was just a case of showing them a bit of respect at the end as well but they, they did battle hard tonight. Ryan get the shot out must be really pleased with that and a couple of weeks where you've had uh, a lot of hockey uh, must be impl- you must be really pleased with the performance tonight. Yeah it's nice i it's nice to get on the ice, obviously, and yeah, I, a, a shutout in the last. When you're on a shutout in the last three minutes, it never gets any easier. It's, it's still quite nerve-wracking, and still had to pull off one good save. So, yeah, it's nice to get on the ice, and, and obviously, yeah, shutout's always nice. So. I, I, I was going to make particular reference to that stop. It was uh, you, you put everything behind it in you. That was really important. Yeah, I think you battle that extra little bit harder in the last few minutes, especially when you're on a shutout. So yeah, you got to protect it. <laughs> I, I was going to ask you. I mean, I think it was. I think the the stats say it was 20 shots on goal. I'm, I'm not sure whether it was 20 sh- shots, real shots on goal. But uh, um, I, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about how hard it is not facing much. Uh, action during the course of the game to to be ready to be composed and, and, and in position to make those stops. Yes, it is always difficult. You know, you'd rather be a bit a bit busier and in a bit more of a competitive game, obviously. But uh, you just try and stay warm as much as you can, skate around, stretch a little bit, just try and stay focused, track the puck when it's down the other end, and, and just move as much as you can. Because otherwise, you do get cold. And yeah, there was a couple of times in the second period, and, and just obviously at the end there was a little flurry of shots. So you've got to be ready for it. But yeah, you know, I'm, I'm used to it. I've done it before, so. <laughs> Nathan, you got a hat trick. Paddy got a hat trick, but you should have had at least four, shouldn't you? <laughs> at least four. I think you're being kind there, five or six. But yeah, it it was good to see. I think Taylor got one, Jarvis got one, and Ross got one. So it's good to see the young guys contributing. I think it's only good for their confidence as well. I know it's a a 15 nil win, but when you put the puck in the net, it's sort of it's really good for you going forward. And we we wrapped the goals up. I mean, I I said on the commentary tonight, I thought we'd score more than ten tonight. You know, it, it was going to look that way, but we scored more than well, we scored ten last night. Twenty five goals in two games. So I've got to ask the question, given that we're racking these goals up, how come your man of the match beers, Ryan, were taken by Nathan Pollard? It, it, it's, it's a poor show. Who votes for this stuff? I don't know. Who, whoever votes for it, well, I don't know. But, uh, no, it's nice to see. Uh, Polly works extremely hard, so you know, for him to get a hat-trick, I, I'm happy for him to take the beers, as long as he shares a few with me, I don't mind. OK, good luck with that. So, um, so gentlemen, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's in the, the final knockings of the season. Uh, Bratnell at home, in Victor away, and, uh, and I think there's one more home game, isn't there, uh, the, the, the following after Streatham. Um, Swindon have won this evening. They've come from behind and, and beaten Basing, so they've got one win to the title. So, you know, that, we're in the last kind of knockings as, as, of the season, as I said. So uh, I'm interested to know what the mindset has to be. Game like tonight, you've got to play, you've got to score the goals, because you can't be... You can't miss a game. You can't be uh, not ready for the Bratnell game. You can't not be ready for the what? What effectively is the the biggest game of the season, which is the week uh, the week after? Yeah, of course. And like I said at the start, you you go half heartedly. You don't put the effort in. You you pick up bad habits and you don't skate back or you miss a pass. And I think mean, you've just got to play like every game. You play every shift like exactly the same. And I think it's tough if you if you want to come in and go, oh, we can't really try as hard tonight because you'll go into Wednesday's game and you'll have that mindset. So I think sort of full respect to those guys for making us work harder and I think going into the next game we got a lot of confidence and we scored a lot of goals this weekend including 10 yesterday like you said it wasn't just 15 today we put 10 away yesterday and I think the forwards are in a bit of form. And given what happened in Bracknell a couple of weeks ago it'll be good to get Bracknell out of the way Uh, there's obviously suspensions on on their behalf and and then before anything might happen in the playoffs. Yeah yeah of course it will be I think we sort of put that to the back of our minds it's just a normal game on Wednesday it's a league game we want to win the league games and we want to finish as high as we can in the league so I think that's sort of all put behind us the suspensions are there and we sort of move forward and it's another league game and then we go to Saturday and Victor and we try and win that as well Thanks for joining us uh, an odd night strange night in, in many ways but the lads did well uh, 15-0 victory and uh, we'll see you again on Wednesday night